here's the local Topanga table. There's the little Shakespearean theater again. You know, since we're in Topanga Canyon, that reminds me of a story that Kelly Rhodes, Randy Rhodes' brother, told me the other day. Since they were inspired by Alice Cooper, he said when Alice Cooper had went to meet Frank Zappa for their first meeting, he actually they lived at a house in Topanga Canyon and had to they left a day and a half early because they walked all the way to uh, Laurel Canyon where Frank Zappa lived. an old uh, Santa Fe cable car. I mean uh, Santa Fe train. Check out that. Check out this crazy walking bridge coming up. Well, that's our next project. Lots of stuff to do. Lots and lots of stuff to do. All right, well, we're back in Hollywood. Um, I did some more painting of the trim. Um, did the primer coat over at Michael's place, then put together a bed for his guest bedroom. Like a wooden Ikea bed that took forever and I wanted to beat the hell out of. And, uh, and then we also did a layer of the, uh, what's gonna be the finisher coat on the trim and then I had to get out of there because my back was killing me. But during that time I listened to two really awesome podcasts um, that you guys should check out. The one that dropped today was uh, Dean Del Rey's Let There Be Talk. He has the uh, photographer from all the day of the greens in San Francisco. And he also did uh, Woodstock. Tell some pretty cool stories there, how he ended up getting to keep the rights for all that stuff. And uh, and then I listened, I don't usually listen to Mark Maron. Not really a big Mark Maron fan, but I listened to him interview Neil Young and that was fantastic. So definitely check those out. I think tomorrow's vlog, I'm gonna go to the Bat Cave slash the Invasion of the Body Snatchers cave. Um, that's pretty close to where I live, so. I was one of the Scientologists ones to see what I'm recording. How ironic that I would be recording them when they're recording me at the same time. There's a camera somewhere around here, but there's they're all hidden. You can see them though. They're like tucked in the bushes and stuff. So anyway, John and I are just out for a walk. And uh probably go out tonight, go do some comedy. Check you later. Well something funny just kinda happened. It's kinda inside baseball, but uh, uh while we were in the pet store, John was playing with Bobby Lee's pet a ton. And, um, and I happen to be wearing an Ari Shafir shirt. And uh, if you know anything about those two, they had a long, 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 long feud. They now get along, but it was a very dark feud. Many, many things happened. If you look it up online, you can definitely find out. They did a uh, Comedy Central Storyteller show where um, Ari and Bobby tell the story from their points of view, so check it out. Uh, but that was pretty funny. That's our traffic. And that is our big Scientology palace up there, if you can see it. It's a gigantic castle that takes up the entire block. That's how real that is out here. And that's only one of the fortresses. I, I personally don't have a problem with them. They're extremely nice to me, but uh, it's it's a it's a dark history of this town for sure. We lost another great one today. A uh, big one from my childhood. Gene Wilder died today. Um, you know, of course, we all knew him as Willy Wonka, and we knew him from the great movies with Richard Pryor, and I, I personally loved him in uh, The Woman in Red with Kelly LeBrock. That was always just, like, such a fun movie. Um, 
you've been sick for a while. wasn't wasn't a real shock, but you're just never you're never ready to lose the Robin Williams, the Gene Wilders, the Bill Murray's. You're just never gonna be you'll never be ready for those guys because you'll always think there'll be like that one time that they'll they'll come out and do a cameo in something or that they'll. You just don't want to lose more great actors, and you know, no offense to the people that are acting now, it's still great acting. It's just, um, it's different movies, it's different style, it's a different world, it's a different type of comedy that you can do now, and not have to apologize for. And I don't know, that was just that was a sad one for me today. I mean, I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't like a, a huge Prince fan, so that didn't hit me as hard as it would have for some people, but I, I did love Gene Wilder, so rest in peace, Gene Wilder, and uh, you know, I'll pray for you and your family, and, and I, uh, I hope your suffering is over, and I uh, will continue to tell people about your movies, and we'll feature something about you in the vlog here very soon. We'll find a location or we'll find something about you that we can pay homage to you. So I want to just go ahead and end the vlog with a nice little uh, slideshow in honor of Gene Wilder. Willy Wonka. Nothing special.